I've been talking this whole time in my mind. Thank you! <laughs> so! I guess I'll redo my introduction. Hello all. <laughs> I am, uh... War. War never changes. Makes a strong man weak and a poor man rich. The difference is decided by character. And if you don't think character is the only factor in deciding victory, then you've been playing the wrong game this whole damn time. The world was playing the wrong game 200 years ago. They learned what it meant to be found faulty in character. For their failure, they became a wasteland of nuclear hellfire. Now out there is a horde of men calling themselves survivalists, remnants of the old world, thinking they can get by just on the strength of their arms alone. There's a new California Republic gambling away the glory of America's past on a legion of slaves trying to rise against their masters on some old forgotten highway. None of them have any idea what kind of character it takes to bring the greatest nation on earth back to glory. But down here, in Vault 18, you're gonna learn everything you need to know about winning that war. Right here, right now, on this battlefield. You are the last of America's finest men and women. You're the A-list. The rest of those idiots are a thing of the past. Now is your time. You'll get out there and show that you have the character it takes to bring America back to glory. Can I get a hurrah? Damn right! Now move out! So it's fully voiced, so that's nice. Okay, it on my pause for me. As I was saying, seeing as I've now decided to unmute my microphone, uh, welcome all. Uh, thank you, Justmanick, for pointing out that my microphone was muted. And for those of you on YouTube, well, you'll, you'll see where I'm at. <laughs> so, I'm going to be playing the newest mod for uh, Fallout New Vegas called Fallout New California. Uh, New Vegas is a game I really loved playing uh, back when it came out. And I've been looking forward to getting to play it again. Um, new, new California is supposed to add a whole new campaign worth of content. So, I have a strong feeling we're about to go play some sports. <laughs> Ooh, that's a fancy loading screen. Make the play, kid. Come on. Oh, this is a new way to do tutorial. Um, let's go with a dodge. God damn it, kid! What the hell was that? Huh? <laughs> oh, let's settle in, cause. Alright, so we are on to character creation. Let's see. Now let's just go with Caucasian. And here we go. That that's a good start. Survivalist? I don't think there's anything here to keep up. Let's start at the bottom and move up. Oops, that's not what I wanted. 
Well, I guess I'll have to start from the top again. Loads of mostly mustache options. A couple of goatees. Not really what we're looking for, though. I don't think... Yeah, I don't really have a lot of options. All right, let's go with... Uh, Survivalist, there we go. That's, that's as close as we're getting. <laughs> uh, there we go. Eh, close enough. The hairstyle, there we go. Tunnel snake. Let's well, not. Let's go with the unsettler. That looks good to me. There we go. Let's call that good. I'm telling you, I'm not a medical doctor. I don't mind patching up one of my kids, but I'm not Dr. Rossman Medicine Man. Hang on. We're coming to you. Hey, kid. Wait, <coughs> you're not ready to stand up? Man, I ain't got time for this. <laughs> Take it easy now. You're coming out from under the effects of some heavy medication. Man, I can't believe this. I was this close to working out what was wrong with Jane. Without her, the vault's nuclear reactor will blow sky high. But no. I had to get yanked back to the hospital to treat some crazy kid who can't even grasp the basic concept of vault ball. <laughs> You really knocked yourself out cold, kid. Nothing a couple of stem packs can't take care of. Now sit your ass down and let me take a look at you again. Mmm. Damn. One and the same. Surprised you recognized me through that haze of stupid you're in. What were you thinking trying to play football with the jocks? I'm sorry to break the news, kid, but the prognosis is in. You're a chronic nerd. <laughs> Alright, so where is Dr. Bishop, the real doctor? I don't know. Jamie and Tara pulled you in from the gym and dropped you on the table like a sack of wet sponges. I guess Tara just grabbed the only doctor she could find. Dr. Bishop is in the hydroponics lab today, so you're stuck with me. Sorry. <laughs> I love that it is actually fully voiced. That has a wonderful touch. that about the nuclear reactors? Huh. About that. I'm not a doctor of medicine. I'm a robotics expert. But I know a thing or two about mending wounds. I was just working on the Jane, a system that regulates the flow of water to the reactors. Some asshole's been throwing trash in our intake. I think it might be intentional. To be honest, this political nightmare over tomorrow night's election has me on edge. Ugh. I wouldn't put it past Bragg and his patriots to sabotage our most critical system in an effort to make overseer Christians look bad. That would be problematic. Scoring computer? You mean Sarah? That slut? I wouldn't be surprised if that bucket of bolts started early. Listen, I'm sure the all-knowing coach John Bragg the Magnificent could convince that whole team to jump off a cliff if he wanted to. But you? You learned a valuable lesson today. Men aren't to be trusted with leadership without questioning from the lower ranks. Okay, I have no clue what that no was. way to win? What made you want to be one of Bragg's Patriots anyways? <laughs> Let's blame the goats. The generalized occupational aptitude test. Ah, that's it. The goat. 
Where'd you dig up that piece of communist trash? You must have been hacking into some pretty serious shit to find that. From what I know of Vault 18 history, the first overseer did away with that junk in the early days. This is a democracy. Down here, we rely on hard work and nepotism. <laughs> I'm impressed, though. Glad you found it. But don't let other people tell you who to be. Ever. Say, nerds love science. I've got some work you may be interested in. Hi. Clearly you ain't gonna hobble out on the Bragg's field again. You will stand duty. You will do fine. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> that dude's a dick. <laughs> you don't like dealing with people much, do you? Hell no, I don't. I'm a career scientist. I may have been born in the waste, but my heart is with the technology of this place. Cold, thoughtful machines are my first love. Humans? That's a machine I can't fix. That's Fair. why I like to escape every now and again. Lead away missions and scout the mountains. Trading for technology. Keeps me sane and busy. I read this book once. Final line of the last chapter. Hell is other people. At least I think it was the last line. <laughs> the book was burned for heat by some illiterate wastelanders. You see what I'm saying? All right, so cut to the chase, Rossman. When can I get back on my feet? Foot. You mean, when can I get back on my foot? Auto Doc says amputate. And I ain't one to argue with my machines, neither. So unless you come up with a better prognosis, or have a magic touch to fix this thing, I'm just gonna assume you're toast. For God's sake, let me look at that. There Take a look at go. it. Shining like a star student now. I've already fixed your butt up as best as I could when you were knocked out. Listen, you've always been a really bright kid. I'm sorry for making fun of you, but you gotta understand. It's in your best interest to listen to me. I've got some cool stuff to show you in the lab. Computers okay. with data 200 years old. Stuff nobody has time for. But you? You can fix it in your downtime. Let's get you on your feet and over to the bigger tester. To make sure you got all your bits in the right place. So I'm gonna want to take some. Or as right as your jigsaw butt is gonna be. Definitely gonna want to put some uh, points into intelligence. <laughs> okay, those just popped right out of there. Stim pack, yes please. Stim pack, yes please. Okay, can't take those meds. All right. So everything should be the same: strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the points here. See, do I want to go with strength or do I want to use guns? Well, let's do a little bit of. Oops. Uh, I guess I gotta go back. Okay, let's put a point into strength. Uh, take one out of perception because I want to put. Couple points in charisma. And leave it at that for now. Okay, Nerd Superstar. Plus one point for skill books that you read. Oh, that's handy. Having lived a life of solitude with your technical studies, you have an easy time mastering hardware. But people, that takes patience. Alright. Tag skills have been set to energy weapon repair and science. I can change them later. Then you and I will go to the computer lab. Oh, hey, level two. Or now, choose two traits. Okay. Ugh. Definitely don't want that. Okay, wild wasteland, definitely want. I don't know if they've added those in, but... And then I like to use four eyes. 
gives me the extra point of perception back. That's always handy. Barter, and then... Probably melee weapons. And energy. Alright. Faster experience, eh. Skill magazines last three times longer. Lady killer's always helpful. Usually. Okay, so confirm Batcher, which is the opposite of Lady Killer. Uh, I tend to take Lady Killer. Personal preference. Oh, hey, internal medicine already? Heck yeah. Come on. I'll show you where the old server is, and you can get to work. Alright. Tackle or dodge. Oh. Teddy bears. Oh, um, hey. My folks are making me do this bullshit. So let's get it over with. Sorry for fucking up your leg. I'm sure it didn't mean to break it. No hard feelings. Yeah, sure. We'll be best goddamn buds. What an idealistic little shit. <laughs> All right. That leg must really be bothering you, kid. You're wobbling like a protectron with a loose screw. I'm sure your sister has something at home that'll fix you up overnight. You might want to check in with her when you get home. God, this looks gorgeous. Okay, can I get to my pit boy? Nope. Hey, Carter. Where are you going this time of the night? Oh, just have to hand in some paperwork to Aaron in the vault security office. Albert gave me some late-night work orders after the big game. Hmm. Working overtime trying to get that cave straightened up. Yeah. Apparently someone tried to break into the terrarium. No idea why. But he wanted me to file a report. Ha. Punks, probably. The wasteland is too dangerous to mess around with right now. Else I'd take the sightseeing. Show them how the survivalists treat this game. It's better than babysitting this nerd. Waiting on him to get in trouble. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice you there. Sorry to hear about your leg. That must have hurt. Only the kid's pride. Listen, we gotta get to work. Take care, honey. Yeah, sure. You two have fun. Honey, huh? Alright. Overseer. Carter sure is a sweet girl. The kid's got too much time on your hands. You're cooped up down here. Probably why Coach Bragg has such an easy time convincing kids that smashing into each other is a good idea. I remember when they first brought Dom down there. It was because the overseer said he would do it for the kids and teach them how to behave. Not that I've seen much change. Time will tell, though. I hate following NPCs. It's always so slow. Even though I technically have a limp, and I'm still outpacing this guy easy. One? Yeah, what do you want? Recycled assets. Come on. Okay, I wasn't behind him, so he stopped moving. Okay.
Oh, while I'm waiting for him. I do plan to, once the, the Fallout 76 beta is open, I plan to stream that uh, any chance I get. So basically, if it's after I get off work, I'm going to hop There's on and play. Home sweet home. I'm sure you'll be in and out of there more than an athlete is in and out of other folks' beds. Oh my. Hey, Dr. Rossman, how are... Oh, wow. You okay? Whoa. You look like you fell down the elevator shaft. What happened? That doesn't look like nothing. Just tell me what's going on. Love the different character assets. Johnny Matheson kind of plowed into me during the game, completely wiped the floor with my face. That's awful. Why did he do that? He knows you don't belong on the football field. God, these stupid wasteland kids are always so fucking mean. Hey, we're from the wastelands too, Kira. We're all in this together. I know. I just wish the others would see it that way. It's like they don't care that we're all from the same tribes or that we're all descendants of ancestors who left Vault 18. Okay. All they care about is themselves. It doesn't help that the old Vault Dwellers are so rude. Without us, they would be helpless. Most of them are so old they can't remember how to use a toaster, let alone run life support. I know life is tough, but so what? Not everyone's an asshole. I'm not so sure. I don't get along with the Wasteland kids or the old people. Especially not my parents. I just serve them. That's all. Oof, that's tough. Well, let's talk about what's going on in here. What's up with this old server? Oh, Maria? I don't know. Computer science is our main focus of study, but I've never been able to crack her. It's almost as if someone purposely encrypted her systems in scaled tiers trying to hide important data behind partition drives. Dr. Rossman asked me to go outside and repair a bunch of cables last week. Then a bunch of new topics appeared in her main menu. Is that why you're here tonight? Yeah, he said it might be a good place for me to spend time recovering. Well then, I think you're in the right place. I'm glad we can spend some time together. Hey, when you said you wanted to spend some time together, what did you mean? Well, it means I haven't seen you much lately. I miss hanging out with you while I work. I feel better having you here. You went on that football tangent and we haven't had time to talk. Why did you try out for Bragg's team anyway? He hates you. I just wanted to fit in with the other Wasteland kids, so I could join Bragg's team. Or, I guess we can chat while we work. <laughs> Ugh, that's ridiculous. You're a great scientist. You don't need to impress those dimwits. You'd better come up with a better... Okay, I'll be right back. Oh. Need to work on my perception. Okay, kid. I'm gonna leave you here for a while. This big computer mainframe is named Maria. Alright. She's a big box of mystery. Always has been. I have all the access nodes loaded up now. It's up to you to hack your way to victory and make me proud. Hey, kid. How's Maria to you? Huh. The... Well then. Some quality work there. Pong. <laughs> Alright. Inactive. hot coffee. Checking ID confirmed. Hola. Habla usted español? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'd rather continue in English, Maria. Ah, that's too bad. Displaying main menu. Ok, 
Okay, display system statuses used to access network servers and fix program faults. Displaying system status. Please restore all severed cables as outlined by Vault Tech Overseer Order 001 of the Day 1 Instruction Package. Okay. Please refer to the disorder as the enemy of productivity. I like order. Order is sexy. Disorder is bad. Hi! Main menu. Maintenance. So, tier 1 network. There are a set of switches on the side panel of the main host gateway in the server core upstairs. The top tiers are currently disabled. You should switch them on to start the local area network. This will allow me to restore functionality to my basic functions. Hi. Main menu. So I need to go upstairs. Somehow. Whoa! Obviously that wasn't it. Okay. Yeah, kid. What is it? I haven't found What happened to the external network connection on that old server? Post apocalyptic politics is what happened. Dumb lawyers doing an engineer's job. Once upon a time, Vault 18 was supposed to be the center of the American wasteland. We had this big machine at the core of that promise. But the Great War screwed that up quick. What wasn't blown to hell in about 30 minutes has been scavenged and sacked for small settlements. You see, the network was a set of cables running all over the country, and this server kept the vaults connected. But one by one, the others have failed. Some were destroyed. Others just vanished. Then one day, 18 years ago, they all just blinked out. When the first overseer, a guy named Clint Dixon, took over Vault 18, he severed the links to the outside, said it was a toxic influence. He kept a few cables alive and severed the rest. It's just been little updates ever since, until they all stopped a few years ago. Now we just have what's left for you to play with. Hope you spot where those weird IOs. I get more experience in science to work on this stuff. This shit is crazy hard. No, nah, well, it's no problem, kid. You don't have to grow up overnight. If you look around, I'm sure there are some science textbooks and magazines laying around. All right. Okay. So let's see. Oops. Hey, kid. How's Maria treating? You? She said I need to go upstairs. So the question is, how do I get up there? downstairs. Okay. Welcome back. I hope you are enjoying your stay with all tech. Display. You've navigated my menus to my satisfaction. Some local terminals are unlocked. All right. Main menu. Maintain this should be exciting. You will have to restore several switches in the vault to restore my functions. I have sent their locations to your pit boy. Have fun. <laughs> Alright. Main menu. Display. Tier 1 systems optimal. Internal vault terminals are ready to browse. These terminals contain early vault overseer logs and resident testimonies. Main menu. Wow, 
Okay. There's so lots of lore built into this. I like it. Okay, auto alert on 1023 2077. Automated signal from Vault Tech. Nuclear launch detected. Initiate directive order 001. Officer Clarence Dovnik, 1023 2077. My god, it actually happened. We all thought it was a drill, but we went anyway, and now here we are. I ordered the vault door to stay open for five minutes longer than was defined in my directives. I still had MPs trapped outside. I saved them all, and a few more than was called for. Now these two angry-looking vault tech reps are starting to edge in closer. I have a feeling that they already have a plan for how to dispose of my body, and I'm pretty much powerless to do anything about it. Well, this isn't how I saw my evening going. Overseer Dublin. Guard Chief Clint Dickinson. Dixon. This is Guard Chief Dixon, reporting that MP personnel have taken control of Vault 18. After 48 hours of unrest and civil dispute, vault Tech personnel in the Overseer's office were arrested and sent to holding in, the, in this jail. Overseer Dovnik was found dead in his office in the hours following the door being sealed by these agents, who had forced a cyanide capsule down his throat. For the rest of these vault Tech agents, I hereby order they be kept under house arrest until further notice. One of them I caught attempting to initiate the vault's self-destruct sequence when we broke through the door, and I personally shot him through the eye. We will sort out the details later. Well, so, vault Tech was not happy about how that went. So he is now Overseer Clint Dickinson as of 1125, one month later. It has become apparent to me and to several MP guards that the vault Tech program was never meant to save anyone. Outline of the directives are viral experiments on unwilling test subjects, sexual exploitation of minors, and small animals, and what can only be described as psychological torture of innocent civilians. Through the efforts of several computer experts and military servicemen, we gain control of the master computer and set it to default. Hundreds of live video feeds from other vaults were discovered, as well as active connections to the vault's server network. I sent former army engineers to cut the cables to their fed federated vaults not marked as control, leaving them only open would be a toxic influence and lead to disaster one day. Okay, I could see why he went ahead and cut the cables then. Basically, he was making it so we couldn't see... Well, we... The individuals of this vault couldn't see what was happening in those uh, non-control vaults. Okay, Overseer Clint Dickinson, May 3rd, 2079. The vaults were never meant to save anybody. Stored in the Overseer Dovnik's desk were directives from Vault Tech. All residents of Vault 18 were to be subjugated to round-the-clock live video feeds from across the country. All of the other vaults. All of those people. Vault 18 was an experiment. I can hardly wrap my mind around it. The world is over, and we were the lab rats. How could they do this? We shut off the computers before anyone could see it. The horrors those people were subjected to. This information doesn't leave this terminal. It is recorded for future overseers only. We held elections next Friday night. No one needs to know what happened here. Guard Chief Dixon. Wow. Uh, May 8th, 2079. To my surprise, the vault residents elected me overseer, even knowing I very well may have put Dovnik in his grave. When we overthrew the vault Tech system, it was by the might of our MPs and the ex-army personnel. We were praised as heroes and worshipped by the population we were clearly outnumbered by. As we all swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, we immediately reinstated a Democratic Electoral College. As military men... We are already very proud of our service, and the American people are basically programmed to praise us at face value. Unfortunately, what they don't understand is that most of us are very simple men of service age, and completely unfit to hold any form of office. But because we were overpraised and treated with special permissions, we started to believe we had special rights and privileges not afforded us in a civilian standing. It's good to treat your military men with respect and gratitude. It's entirely not to make them feel like they are the sole proprietors of that gratitude and respect. We get complacent and arrogant, and a self-entitled military is quite possibly the most destructive force to democ democracy on Earth. Thus the nuclear hell our world turned into, and my situation here, trying to keep my MPs from taking advantage of the population. Oh man, they went heavily political on this one. Which, not surprising, the whole Fallout series is a political statement in and of itself. All right. August 20th, 2080. I went to this thinking that my job was over as overseer was to keep the water in the pipes, keep it clean, and make sure the lights stay on. Turns out that largely happens by itself, so long as the engineers have what they need. 
And that last part is the key, because engineers have opinions, but they're smart enough to not open their mouths until they have proof positive that they are right. The only downside is that when they do open their mouths, it's in an arrogant and often socially challenged way that pits everyone against them. Don't make my mistake. Engineers make poor lawyers. Whoever inherits this office after me, just make sure they don't let anyone control the self-destruct button, who is an easy pinch. They get, they get these codes, we're done for. All right. Terminal 2. Got a lot of history to go through. Vault 10 log. Mr. Tubbs. May 21st, 2242. Hey, have you guys been out our way in the past few weeks? Crazy shit's been going on all over this place. The NCR has been at war with these freaks in power armor. We haven't been able to synth any new Nuka-Cola, so we're running on reserves. If you guys find any, we're getting real thin up in this bitch. <laughs> Let us know what you can find. And hey, thanks for keeping us in the loop. I know we're not a control or and all, but it's nice to just chat with you guys. Sometimes, you know? Takes the edge off, Mr. Tubbs. Oh! Vault 10. Um, that's a reference to uh, a YouTube video. It had to do with... Uh, there was a control vault that had all they had was like Nuka Cola and fat, fattening foods, so the whole population got fat. And then uh, one of the one of them, uh, Twig, is actually like it, it. Guy makes uh, costume pieces and made this uh, YouTube. I'll link it in the uh, description of my YouTube video because it's a fantastic sh uh, show. All right, Vault Three Log, uh, May tenth, twenty two forty two. Hey guys, we traded a package of heating units for this weird reverse pulse cleaner. None of us have any idea of what to do with it now that we're, we've got it. Now that we've got it. So we're putting it in the locker until we figured it out. If you guys have any info, we'd appreciate it. Okay, Vault 76. Uh, log 516-2242. Oh wow, we had no idea this old thing even worked. It's been shut down for decades. Hello from Pittsburgh, or what's left of it, man. It's great to know that there's a group of survivors on the West Coast. Looking forward to hearing back from y'all. So this is like a mail system between the, the vaults. Vault 8, May 8th, 2242. The NCR has again petitioned us to join them, even after we rejected their last offer. They seem to be turning hostile. Please be advised that we may be entering a combat situation in the near future. With the gangs of New Reno increasing pressure and NCR pushing our way, we may not be able to maintain peaceful relations much longer. Vault City may fall, but we wish that the following data stream be stored in your archives. The Enclave, the NCR, the Brotherhood, no one must have it, not even you. We have encrypted the transmission, prepared 5 megabytes of space on your most secure system. If you are unconvinced of its importance, know this. It is related to one of your own citizens. No one can be trusted. One day, in many years, it may be revealed, but today, let the knowledge rest only in its memory. Project Brazil is not safe. They, came, they come for our hero to spell our doom. Radroach2242. Alright, so it sounds like there is some good information hey, buried in here. Just lying around? I hope you didn't read it, but it would explain why it disappeared. I haven't been able to read anything. I, I can't get to my pit boy yet. Speaking of, no, no, okay. Terminal 3. Okay, oh. Project control. Uh, connection active, display text, automated greeting. Thank you for choosing refreshing Nuka Cola brand cola. Together with our friends at Voltec, we've joined forces to maintain our humanity through the cool and exciting flavors of Nuka brand colas. We'll write out the nuclear devastation and happiness. Enjoy your stay. Alright, Vault 3. Uh, anyone out there? We have a water leak in the lower levels, water chip failing, need to open vault to scavenge parts in the Vegas area. We met some huge. Port 16, Vault 3 error, 404 server terminated. Ouch. Vault 8. Uh, vault 8 in the western Nevada here. We have opened the vault to survive. We have medicine and doctors, not much else. The vault is becoming unlivable. As systems break down, Vault City is doing well outside, growing. Vault well outside, growing. We've encountered several tribes and other vault dwellers living on the surface. Our GEC is being used to restore the land. We haven't heard from anyone and assume we are the most technologically advanced civilization in the wastes. 
If you can respond by text, please do. We'd love to hear from you. Note from Rossman. Do not reply to this message. Ain't no advanced civilization left out there called Vault City. What doesn't wasn't blown up in the Brotherhood of Steel NCR war has been taken over by NCR intelligence units. They're looking for us. 416 Vault. 8 error 404 server. Alright. Vault 76. Uh, server terminated. Alright. Vault 81. Agagagur. Alright. 82. Terminated. Alright. More. 88. No one will ever find us. Door to Vault was not completed. But we made it work. We have lots and lots of resources. Someone, if you read this, we need help. 1993. 19. Yellow dust everywhere. Toxic. Sulfur leaking in. And with the water seeps making sulfuric acid, eating holes in the vault. If you read this, we are leaving this hellhole. Fair. 119. No connection. Vault 16. No connection. 43. Anyone help? There's a panther in here. <laughs> Another reference uh, to a webcomic. Yeah. I'm surprised he managed to survive long enough to get that out. Vault 52, no connection. 118, no connection. 120, no connection. Vault 77. They left me alone with puppets. Another webcomic reference. Nice. No connection. Help. Is it? All right. Oh, wait, that's one, two, three, four. There we go. What do we got? Overseer Christensen, 10 one My father always told me that adversity reveals character. Coach Bragg said something to me along those lines before last week's tryouts for our new vault ball team. The man is a miracle. Gruff, impossible to take a read on. I can never tell if he's angry or just determined but he's saving our children from themselves. When we adopted these children, they were mostly infants and toddlers. We had no sense of parental direction, of parental direction, and we were all in our late 50s. So set in our ways, we had no frame of reference on how to discipline or encourage children. As teenagers, one only has to examine the walls of the upper apartments to see the rebellion in their hearts, a rebellion we have been unfit to quell. I'm cautiously optimistic about this vault's future, but the starting reality is startling reality is that we are that if our enemies find themselves more organized in coming months we are ill-equipped to handle them we are not a young vault any longer the median age for life expectancy is 102.9 years i myself am 75 during the exodus 60 years ago most of those that left were youthful 18 to 45 they're gone now our teenagers here are all that's left to stand between us and the outside world i gave coach bragg these troubled souls to train them to educate them, he gave them an outlet we could we could not. Sports. Team building exercises. Discipline. He moves them with almost military precision. It's incredible. In just a few short years, he has changed them so much. I'm truly grateful to him. The problem is I'm worried that he, you know, he's build, basically building his own military, which as was mentioned in the earlier posts, when the military thinks that they are better than the other citizenry, there could be problems. October 21st. I have a list from Coach Bragg on my desk. He calls it the Master List. That's troublesome. It has the names of 300 citizens on it, organized in three lettered brackets. He and Chevy agree that this is the order that our citizens should follow for duty in case of an attack by outside forces. Those at the top, the A lists, are on his vault ball team, the Patriots. The B list has mostly young women on it and only a handful of boys from the opposing Barbarians team. C has just a few, the Hale children, and Dr. Rossman. Ben Kurtz is noted with a star, along with Sean, Mandy, and Jason. Then there's the D-list. I am listed at the top, followed by everyone over 50, nearly 250 souls. It's a startling reminder of just how aged we are, just how frail our existence is. I have signed off on the letter. Hopefully, should the Survivalist Raiders, the Brotherhood, or NCR Prospectors ever find our vault, Coach Bragg can defend us against them. 
I'm loath to see the tribal children we raised follow this man to war. But it's the only way. He knows them better than I ever will. Chief Evanson sent Dr. Rossman, Yeti Hale, Dr. Bishop, and Sergeant Norman out into the wasteland last week, as noted in my logs. It was sobering, seeing them there in the vault gear room, dressed in their archaic rags and armed to the teeth. It's like watching old heroes ride off into the sunset in a cloud of swirling dust. The Wasteland Scouts, living legends, they seem so tangible here at home, but seeing them get it going off on another adventure, it's inspiring. They have never been the same since Dr. Kyoto died so many years ago. We never did get a full explanation of what happened, just what she died of a, that she died of a virulent virus given to her by a prospector. It's hard to believe that the NCR betrayed the Scouts. After all, they did to fight off the raiders, to help defeat the Brotherhood of Steel in the war. After fighting the Enclave, gang bosses, there are even rumors that the Wasteland Scouts saved the world on numerous occasions. But this is the reality. Coach Braggs warns us that the raiders or NCR may strike us at any moment. He believes they know where we are. That is what this secret mission is about, to finally determine just how far the raiders have spread, how close the NCR is to finding us. The reports have been locked away behind the Tier 3 firewall. Rossman says that if his brightest students can ch crack into it, they may just be worthy a worthy Wasteland Scout candidate. But for the others, well, we've just hidden away their, this secret mission. No one knows they've gone. And no one, so far, has noticed. So I need to get to at least Tier 3 to be considered worthy. The work on the terrarium is nearly complete, and mostly my administrative and executive controls have been shipped there. I had the men move the old Spirit Master computer monitors from storage to the Garden Crave, and we've begun planting succulents. It is a lovely place for meditation. After this is finished, we will never again have to rely on the stale crumbs of our hydroponics lab. I love it here, there, and so does Jad, Jason. He has been helping us build the garden, rock by rock. I am proud of my son. No matter how rebellious he may be, he hasn't been sleeping at home with his mother and I. I fear his tribal origins may be weighing on his mind again. He chooses his brother and sister over us, along with the older star children older star child. We installed the last of the vault's controls today, and as the hard locking mechanisms for the self-destruct was slipped into place and activated, I felt a pang of fear. Not the realization that it existed, but that I realized I wasn't afraid of it. I'd rather destroy this vault than let it fall in our, to our enemies, and that is a feeling I am not sure how to accept. Ah, it's a terrifying thing. Whoops. Okay. There we go. And terminal five. Kira's Terminal. Keep out, unless you are helping. Okay. Report on the Wasteland Factions by Kira. I've taken all the notes that I've been able to find in these old Tier 1 terminals and where my real parents may be. Scouting reports don't really have any clue what happened, and they're as dense as college textbooks. I've learned about these candidates. Super mutants. Slow, angry, and big. Some people say they, are, they eat humans. Raiders. They used to be all kinds of them. Cons, jackals, vipers. But they were all beaten by the NCR and ran away. Mostly in the Vegas area. The Enclave. They were really bad guys that were beaten by the NCR. I don't know if they still exist. The Brotherhood of the Steel. Maybe they're technophiles that live in bunkers. Caravans. These guys just roam around selling stuff. They're okay. The gangs of New Reno. They take slaves and all kinds of bad stuff. That'd be problematic. The Slavers Guild. The NCR broke them up but they retreated to Athens with the others. The She. They're all bankers and tech geniuses from San Francisco. Huh. Never heard of them. I'll keep looking. Until they make me go home, I never want to go back there. War in the Valley? I found a bunch of notes in the Tier 1 terminal about a fight in the Cajon Pass. It seems like the Wasteland Scouts have been fighting these survivalists since the beginning. But after the NCR began expanding, they fought back. Now the survivalists take anybody willing to res resist the NCR and hold the line at their base in Athens. It's not too far from here. That's why we never go outside. They said that the survivalists take slaves. Maybe they took my parents? Dead end. Dr. Rossman won't help me. He says I should learn to hack these old systems on my own. I'm only ten. I barely know how to type. My fake mom and dad won't. Let me stay here. He hits me when he drinks. I have to find a way out of here. I want my real parents back.
restarting the search. I haven't looked at these notes since I was 10, when they banned me from being in here. I'm 19 now, and I won't take a I don't know for an answer. I want out of this vault more than ever. I have to get out before they turn me into another one of their Cinderella bimbo baby makers. Yeah, that sounds about what they did with Tier 2. That stupid bitch Jen Hale taught me in the cistern repairing the exterior connections. I don't know how she did it, fucking drama queen. Because of her, I had to tell the overseer what my dad does to me. In front of everyone. I'll kill her one day if I get the chance, I swear. But for now, I've learned everything. I've read every programming book, I've read every magazine, every report. I could unlock. I know the survivalists have my parents. I just need the last bit of proof. Then I need someone to unlock the main vault door. I'll go for it the first chance I get. Alright. Hey, so I need to... How's Maria <laughs> Just sitting there staring at an empty terminal. Alright! More power to you. Okay. So... Hope you are enjoying your displaying system status. Please restore all severed cables as outlined. Tier two. You have done well, young vault dweller. Maybe next time you will give me a turn reorganizing your internal organs. Oh, look at that! You unlocked a few more data stores. Please avail yourself of this bounty of bitchy diaries and 200-year-old grocery lists. <laughs> Tier right. 2 systems optimal. Fall tech orders demand all subsystem tiers be unlocked. Tiers have been offline for 66,795 days. Well Main then. Menu. Maintenance menu. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, shoot. Hold on. That, that, that's not supposed to do that. My apologies. Sorry, my whole that should not, that should be locked. There we go. Let's just lock all of these. There we go. My apologies. All right. Tier three network to external receiver. Outside receive. the cement vault, shell in the cavern is a port leading from the vault 18 computer lab to the cable network above. These cables are severed. You should gain access to the cistern via the hatch located in the hall by the hydroponic slab to repair these cables. All right. Main menu. Hey, need some help? I was looking at your over your notes on the exodites. Impressive study. Oh yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of a hard thing to talk about. It's where our parents came from. Our real parents. None of the vault dwellers want to talk about it, and Dr. Rossman always shrugs it off. He says it makes him depressed. Didn't end up with parents. My brother's sister and I live alone. Right. I know. I wish I didn't. I don't get along with mine at all. They... I don't want to talk about it. I think you were right about the disappearances being caused by the slavers. You do? Well, since you're unlocking these terminals, maybe you could try looking around for me? Maybe there's new data I missed. Yeah, I'll get right on it. I'll go try the terminal hunt. I love reading. Oh, great. You'll probably find it on one of the Tier 2 terminals. Just let me know if you can figure it out, and report back anything you find. Hi. I can do that. Aw. Okay, so... I could, let's go ahead and read the Tier 2s, and then I'll work on the Tier 3. 
Maybe. There we go. All right. Number one, Sergeant Danvers, January fourth of twenty-two seventy-eight. After everything we've been through in the past four months, Overseer Clint Dixon has ordered an immediate evaluation of the cave exit beyond the vault door. vault tech standard orders have been to keep the door shut for a minimum of 80 years, and a series of hard locks and chemical timers have been set in place to prevent override of these controls. No matter what Dixon orders us to do, there's no way any of us are getting through that door. Fair. Sergeant Danvers. February 2nd, 2078. I've already tried to be a good man. I served 15 years with the LAPD before I agreed to join vault tech and P's program in the San Bernan Bernardino Valley. I fought in the Gobi before that. I know this isn't a place for personal reflection, but what I've watched in the past few months has made me question who I am as a human being and a law officer. We overthrew Clarence Dovnik, thinking he was the man that tried to have us killed, only to find out he was really the man that had saved us. Not until it was too late, and he was killed by forced cyanide pill, by whom we may never know. When Dixon left us as guard chief and became the new overseer, he made me the head of scout missions to the outside. But even after a total reversal of the vault -Tec orders, that door is locked, and the only scouting I have to do is my own soul. May 8th, 2099. It's been a little more than 20 years since I last updated this archive. There hasn't been any need. The door is still frozen in place, like it has been through a half dozen overseers and, a, and years of arguing. No matter what, I know I will die waiting for the day I can see the outside again through anything but those tiny security camera watching the darkness of the cavern. Sergeant Danvers, sign me off. That's depressing. Okay. God, I wish they had, like, ordered these. That would have been nice. Okay. Sergeant Danvers the third, twelve twenty four twenty one fifty seven. Wow, this is the best Christmas of all time ever. After eighty years, the doors are finally opening. A bunch of us have gotten together and started planning our intended destinations. My granddad used to tell stories about the world outside, and now it's finally here. I can't wait to go visit Big Bear Lake and Pine Haven. Apparently, they were all really nice places: green trees, big pools of water, tons of tasty fish. Granddad always wondered what we would be left. And Dad told me that the people are bound to be rebuilding everything by now. Before Granddad died, I told him I'd look up at the stars for him first step. i take out of the cave, and I'm going to do that tonight. Acting Sergeant Elias, January 3rd, 2158. This is Acting Sergeant Elias, reporting back from Scouting Mission Zero. Most of our party was lost on Day 3, as we scouted the ruins of the Big Bear Bridge. We encountered a band of heavily armed men who surrounded and disarmed us with flash grenades. At some point, between my being rendered unconscious and reawakened, Officer Jackson and Sergeant Danvers commenced fire on the hostile assailants, but were quickly dispatched. Officer Travers and I managed to escape to the tree line, but Travers was gunned down as we crossed the river. I was grazed in the left shoulder and left for dead. They stripped me of my uniform and weapons and left me on the shore. A woman from a colony of slaves awoke me some hours later and escorted me to the vault door. We brought her into custody and I enjoyed an extended stay in the infirmary. Sergeant Elias January 6th, 2158. The roads leading from Vault 18 to Pine Haven are mostly intact and clear of major debris. There's a crater leading to the old military base, presumably from an atomic weapon. Pine Haven itself is utterly destroyed, save for a few central buildings. There are signs of animal life, but none that we can see or recognize. There are no green foliage. There are cars on either side of the road for hundreds of miles, many of which have been moved and stripped of usable parts. There's no visible sign of a restored United States. It appears the entire continent was completely destroyed by the war 80 years ago, and has remained in a state of decay ever since. 1-8. The woman we saved, Orica, is a slave from a city several miles away called Union City. She speaks Southern English, has good manners, and has provided us descriptions of a survivalist ruling party which conquered them several decades ago. Something about the mining operations at Athen Tech having been used as a staging area for this army of isolationists. This military operation is likely well aware of us now, so future missions among, along Highway 173 are ill-advised. She warned us of another danger, a mutant horde along Highway 18, but she is too ashamed to speak of them. We are planning several new scouting missions and an entire training regiment for new recruits.
gonna go back to terminal. I'm gonna hit terminal three, but I'm gonna pause for a minute and go get myself something to drink. <laughs> I didn't expect to do this much. I wasn't expecting to have this much reading in a mod. This is fantastic. There's so much lore here. All right, so I will be back in a few moments. I'll just go ahead and leave the camera running, uh, but I will go ahead and mute myself again. Hopefully, I'll remember to uh, unmute it this time. <laughs> All right, I am back. <laughs> Let me get the game loaded back up. And we will continue. All right, Dr. Rogers from May 21st, 2201. They changed it to a year, month, day setting. This is the 100th successful scouting mission launched from Vault 18. A proud moment. This morning, a team of myself, Kara, my wife, and our granddaughter, Sarah, had a picnic outside in the grass. It's growing nicely into the spring. I remember when it didn't grow at all. How lovely. May 28th, 2201. Since there are 1,306 of us currently living in Vault 18, it is greatly satisfying to report that I found several locations scattered around the Cresting Val Crestline Valley and the Angel Angelus Heights fit for colonization. There's an NCR settlement in the far south, past the car car char of San Bernardino Valley, leaning towards the Sequoia Zone. That will serve as our primary colony targets. I've spoken with several NCR representatives about the best possible locations, and they assure me that staying clear of our immediate area is essential. Then again, none of them have ever traveled I-15, like I have, nor care to. From what I'm told, Tandy has no interest in this area. Not yet. 
To be sure, we have begun teaching our children a game, in which they forget Vald 18's location and name. If they remember, they lose the game. It's become a sport among them. If we are ever tempted to reveal there is a vault, where the vault is, it will be an easy resistance, because we simply will not know. Oh, that's fun. Okay. July 18th, 2201. There have been several tectonic activities that I believe are precursors to a much larger event. We are sitting just a few miles east of the San Andreas Fault. It runs right through the valley beyond Athentech. While we are assured that Vault 18 will survive the biggest quake imaginable, I'm loath to believe 140-year-old predictions. The cement shell has been curing for that amount of time, and good engineering will require reassessment of densities across the whole shell, and the shock threshold of the supports. At the very least, we're looking at a situation where we will be digging our way out of the cavern. I'm suggesting that the colony attempt hasten and we leave sooner. They're calling us exodites in the vault. Maybe we are exiles, but in my heart, I know, and, and hundreds like me, that we belong out there, in the world, among the tribes. Okay. Uh, four. Sergeant Norman, 628-2241. Scouting report number 202. There have been rumors of Brotherhood of Steel Scouts passing the area near Vault 18. It was said that they'd established a camp nearby, searching for pre-war locations in the mountains near us. We've encountered the Brotherhood several times in our various adventures. Getty has several scars to tell the tale. But in case we have a new student reading these logs, let me tell you a bit about them. The Brotherhood of Steel formed from what was left of the United States Army over a century ago. They were once a huge organization, but now they're essentially a loose band of raiders. Their motto of late is, We're the only salvation this tortured planet and its people have. Without us, humanity is sure to perish. That should give you an idea of what they're like. Relatively little is known about the early years of the Brotherhood of Steel, but they acquired a ton of power armor from when they were still army men, and have taken to treating themselves like ancient knights of the Round Table. Odds are you've never read about them in the vault library. Go look it up. It'll make sense after that. Even got their own King Arthur, by the name of Maxim. Yeah, as in that Maxim. Don't know if he was the dumbass who led the Brotherhood into its grave. Jeremy, in a past life, but my money's on Boss Maxim being some black sheep second cousin they could quietly pun off the Council of Elders. Brotherhood's too stuck in the mud of tradition. Odds are old man Jeremy, old man Jeremy could piss off on the Brotherhood of Steel Cog and they'd still follow him off a cliff. They tend to be shy. They scour the waste for technology, building up some kind of storehouse meant to enrich humanity. Or so they say. Really, it just enriches them. They'll take anything you have and strip you down. Leave you dead if they see something they like. Especially if you're lesser people. This bad habit got them in a war with the New California Republic. With their superior technology, the Brotherhood managed to give the NCR a good smack, even coming close to winning that war. But the Brotherhood's technological technological advantage has nothing compared to the sheer volume of the NCR military. The Brotherhood was isolated, undermanned. They froze themselves to death. The NCR kicked their ass and took everything they could get their hands on. We were part of that war in several places, basically starting it. The Wasteland Scouts derailed several Brotherhood attempts to ransack Vault 18 kept them chasing their tails, and eventually used their technology, too, to turn them against the NCR. When they weren't paying attention, we had our friends in the NCR get a gander of their storehouse. After that, the greedy NCR politicians were salivating. War ensued. We'll check up on this and update the logs. Update. October 2nd, 2048. Fortunately, rumors have been proven to be false. There's nothing in the area that would un indicate Brotherhood of Steel presence apart from the outcasts located in the Union City, specifically Old Doc Marius. Crazy sci-fi bastard was trying to impress Dr. Kyoto with his shiny suit of power armor. <laughs> Crazy lovebirds. I reprimanded her for fraternizing with locals and not informing us. <laughs> uh, that was the first one. 417-2242. Scouting report 189. While on a routine patrol, we crossed an old vault I really wish they would stop popping those up as much. Ah. We crossed an old Vault 18 exile settlement in the region around 30 clicks from Union City. 
place was a mess, demolished and abandoned, showing marks of a fight that must have took place some hours ago. Inhabitants were caught by surprise, probably by a force that was superior in numbers. There wasn't much sign of a firefight, nor cor no corpses were found. It seems the aggressors sacked the settlement in a hurry, destroying what they couldn't take and left it with everyone, dead or alive. Careful inspection allowed us to discover a hidden nook behind one of the houses. Survivors were found inside, just infants and toddlers, all in the age of between two and four, approximately. They were wearing exodite markings. Four of them have little blue pentagrams painted on their bodies in various places, seeming to indicate a family. They were terrified. Two kids named Jamie and Eric, the oldest of the bunch, told us that demons took their parents and left them behind. They were too scared to even talk about it. They said that the demon woman hid the four with the tattoos in the nook. As soon as we got them out of that hole, it was like they just forgot it ever happened. They've been quiet on the subject ever since. Huh. Unfortunately, no further tracks were found, and we were unable to determine what happened to the inhabitants. Settlements was small, and my bet is someone sold info on them to the passing slave caravan. The goddamn survivalists probably were involved in the process. They've been taking slaves left and right ever since that Elsdrigan son of a bitch took over after we, well, after Rossman killed his leader, Boss Maxim. With the NCR pushing into the region, getting ready to liquidate the Enclave holdouts north of here, we have to be especially cautious. The NCR is winning the war with the Brotherhood, but just barely. They're on hard economic times. They're destroying tribes, wiping out whole civilizations, tearing up out towns going back generations. It's like they're trying to turn the entire California wasteland into a farm for taxes and soldiers. After we blew, blew up the ethanol reserves at Athens Tech, they've been on a campaign to absorb every last raider tribe from Washington to Texas. They were a ragtag organization like just 80 years ago. Now they're turning into the war machine. Oh, war machine. The NCR keeps pushing around raiders like dirt on a wet floor, and that dirt is starting to run off into the gutter of Athens Tech mine. Rossman petitioned the Overseer and Council, with, which ordered an emergency session to admit the orphan children as vault -Tec residents. These kids are our ancestors' blood. They're us. They may be dirty, starved, and terrified, but they're us. We're immediately rushing back out to scout the other six villages. If the raiders are trying to take revenge on our tribes, we need to know. But I get the feeling this isn't just a revenge thing or a desperate grab for manpower. I think someone or something is targeting our tribes, targeting our tribes as, to bait us. Ooh, that could be troublesome. Because the demon woman put the kilts with markings in. Alright. Dr. Kevin Rossman. Scattering report number 193. We found the remaining Exodite tribes, number 6 and 7. They, were, they have been destroyed along with the others. This time we were too late. The children were dead, likely from starvation. The scouts blame themselves. Truth is, I blame myself. This isn't the place for self-reflection, but it's my duty to report my failure as lead scientist. As lead scientist, I'm responsible for making technical uh, suggestions, but as a wasteland scout, it's my job to keep these people safe. We're more than just the defenders of Vault 18. We're protectors of humanity. We promised them when they left Vault 18 decades ago that we'd never abandon them. In the wastes. That our mission was to protect not just our little vault, but everybody from here. I'm the leader of that operation. I hesitated to fight an unknown enemy, and for it, a dozen kids are dead. Tribe 6 and 7 were nomads. They didn't have a permanent settlement. Whatever came after them knew who they were. The Enclave is too bogged down with the NCR war to go back to their old schemes, so it can't be them. Brotherhood couldn't care less about us. NCR wouldn't do something like this, not on purpose. We've rescued all the kids we could. Whoever is targeting us has won. It's time to draw the line where we know we can protect the vaults and bunker down. Okay, Security Chief Evanson. 414-2253. Scouting report number 217. Union City has been invaded and successfully taken by the NCR, but it looks like we've lost the war. In our last reports, we've documented the agreement Dr. Rossman reached with the slaves of Union City and the NCR Colonel Bill Silverman. The NCR is aware of the Wasteland Scouts and our exploits, and they've watched every episode, it seems. Big fans of the show, or so we thought. The NCR sends prospectors to take over Vault 18. 
they did killed Dr. Kyoto and left us covering our butts. With these mercenaries chasing us back to Vault 18, we had no choice but to kill them. The NCR learned of it and branded us enemies of the state. Rossman specifically is called in for treason. They declared Vault 18 and Athens equally annexed NCR property. They stormed in and took over the ethanol fields at Union City in a three-week battle that left the entire region a glowing mess. The survivalists under Eld's Dragon have made a big impression on the NCR brass. NCR thought thought they would be a pushover. They were wrong. Els Dragon gave ground just to suck them in, then burn their own fields under their feet. The fields are full of explosive mutant corn. Probably killed 400 NCR soldiers in 30 seconds. Death by popcorn. Nasty. As we've documented, the Great Khans, Vipers, Jackals, all the miscellaneous raiders, tribes with the names or no names, have flocked from across the wasteland to join the survivalists. The NCR has pushed them to utter desperation, enough to overcome decades of internal fighting and band together. We thought this battle was in the bag. The raiders were finished. We were wrong. The survivalist message of freedom and isolation of tax-free utopia and anarchy has ironically created a grassroots movement of epic proportions. The NCR angels swept the California clean of the devils they thought to destroy, and all the demons came back to hell. Athen Tech Mine. Now they're all here on our front door. The NCR is bogged down fighting the Brotherhood now. That war may or may not go in their favor. Until that's resolved, and they lick their wounds, the NCR has given up on Athens Tech. The Raiders keep growing in numbers, hunkering down. They're sweeping the valley for us, looking for revenge. Chief Evanson has called it in. We're locking down Vault 18 until further notice. We'll close the door, start raising these kids we saved from the wasteland, and that'll be it. Our adventuring days are over. Wish it was a better note. On a better note. Uh, hello, psychopath. And yes, I have made my character. Um, I'm still in the tutorial, so I could make modifications to it. Uh, uh, the chat should just be showing the the message for a couple of seconds and then going away. I need to uh, modify that. Probably is going a little too quickly. Let's see, that was four, five, there we go. You know, let me see if I can make that change real quick. Whoops. Also, it doesn't help that it's not very well centered. Oh, I could also make it a little bigger. Let's see, unlock it a second. There we go. Shoot me another message. Let's take a look at it. I just realized that's going to be lagged, so it's going to take a minute. Um, but that should help a little bit. I've been working on trying to modify it as I go. webcam window now, that's the thing is it's two separate uh, it's a frame and then a uh, the chat inside of it but you know I could you're right I could move this after I unlock it move this up and then take the chat box and shift it over and then maybe I can get both of these to There we go. Play around with that a little bit. Let's go back, see if that covers anything. Uh. Oops. Let's see. 
Uh, you know what? Let's see if I can... Properties? There we go. Okay, let's stick with that. Font settings, there we go. Pump it up a couple of points. Oops. I want to also make it last longer. Chatter. Uh... There we go. Let's see. <laughs> All right, take care of yourself. Um, oh, that looks much better. Thank you much, so much. So that's thing I need. You know, I need people to pop in and, and ask me to do things and look into it because it gives me something to work on. All right. Um. Or am I at highway picture one? Oh, hey! Actual pictures, cool. So those are, those are pictures. Ooh, that looks bad. Okay, um, six. Let's see, image log one. Hey, there's a face in the rocks. That's kind of weird. Ooh, it's a pretty moon. All right, so that gives us some answers. Let's. I was looking through some of the terminal entries you unlocked, and you did find a few interesting notes. Did you find anything special on your end? Found some notes where Sergeant Norman blamed the survivalists. Well, in theory. Yes, that's exactly what I expected. The survivalists. They keep slaves from what I'm told. Hundreds of them. If our parents were captured during some long-forgotten battle, they were surely taken as prisoners. Thousands. They keep thousands of slaves, not hundreds. They're scary people. They may be scary. But all people have one tragic flaw. They're still human. There will always be a way to defeat them, no matter how many there are. Fair. Why the new California Republic hasn't decided to take them out, it's inconceivable. They're nothing but raider scum. I think you should stop calling them that. I don't think it means what you think it means. Raiders? What else should I call them? Oh, I'm sorry, that's not what they call themselves? I don't care if there's more to their philosophy. You're not apologizing for them, are you? Well, I intend to kill them one day and get my mom and dad back, no matter what you think. Okay, so she doesn't have any blue markings. Okay, well, hope it helps you rest easy, Kira. It does. It's very exciting. Now I will have a place to start my research and maybe form some kind of plan. I think I'm going to turn in. Thank you for your help. I mean it. Okay, repair the cables in the Vault 18 sister. Okay. Man, I sure hope this election turns out the way I hope. Overseer Christensen or Coach Bragg. Not much of a choice if you ask me. <laughs> yep. Okay, good. Hey, pal. Okay. Well, I ain't doing much after with a broken leg. <laughs> Heh, laundry. Oh, that's stealing. Okay. So I'll just leave those alone. Whoa. Okay. Not what I expect is expecting. I'm actually meant to go in here. Broken terminal? <laughs> Virus detected. Whoops. 
Well, considering what this is right next door to, uh... Yeah. Okay, oh, okay, so I get... Okay. Through here? Well, I can take the purified water, just not the buff out. A fault ball? It looks like a nuke. Whoa, okay. Okay, that's not what I was looking for. Would really love to. Oh, pugilism. Pugilism. Tab. I just realized I've been hitting the wrong button for my. Uh... There we go. That'll help. Okay, map. 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 Data. World map. No, local map. There we go. Okay, it was actually back this way. Hidden. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. The problem is, oh. uh, do I have any inventory? All weapons follow the weapon skill. Okay, alright. Huh. The vault ball is a weapon. Alright. Wait, what? It is. Cool. Okay. Vault 18 manual network access. Skill 50 to hack. Okay. Those aren't what I'm looking for, though. What I'm hearing is I need to look around for those hacking books. Hydroponics. Condos. Kid. Out of order. Yeah, kid. What is it? Haven't found yourself in trouble again, have you? Fix the tier one network. Wow. I have to admit, I could have done it years ago, but I just didn't give a shit. <laughs> what did you find? A ton of old history reports from the weeks after the Great War. Ah, now that's something worth looking into. I don't need an essay or anything. I trust you've learned enough. Now go on. You had a tough day. Now you should just go off to bed now. And don't let those death crawls get you from under the bed. <laughs> okay, I fixed here too. Well, that you did. Great job, kid. I'm really impressed. What did you find? Just a bunch of security logs and data from a few years ago. Stuff about the Exodites. Well, I'll be. That's a word I haven't heard in a long time. Exodites. Damn. You know, leading theory is when you kids were brought up here, it was because your parents were part of the Exodus. We never found out exactly what happened to them, just that they disappeared. I hope it kept you entertained. Now go on. You had a tough day. Now you should just go off to bed now. Food. Oh man, you got annihilated. You okay, little buddy? Yeah, Dr. Rossman said you carried me into the infirmary. Thanks, I guess. 
<laughs> Dude, yeah, what was left of you. You should have seen it. It was like Johnny was barreling right at you, and Bragg was all, Get him, kid! And you were all, Ah! And Johnny was all, Arr! And then, blam! And then you were all, Splat! Then I get you to the yep. infirmary, and they stripped you naked right there in front of me. <laughs> it was awesome! Alrighty then. Ah! Endurance is too low. Perception is too low. Good night. Check said a fl there was a fly. Whoa. 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 Okay. Barbarians suck ass. Oh, neat. They actually got a really good map laid out. Alright. So. I need some more uh, science. Whoa. Oh, wait, you know what? I'll get five to my science. What's that going to put me up to? Only up to 40, though. I need a lot more than that. That's going to help with my perception. Okay. So, where is... He said to get off to bed. Let's take a look at the quests. Let's go to bed. Because I'm not going to get much done until I can get my science up just a little bit more. Oh, hey. You hear that kid from the lower apartments? I'm glad Bragg joined the vault. If he hadn't brought us that water chip from outside, we'd be doomed. Alrighty then. Yeah, it is kind of a little bit in the way. You know what? I can move it while well, that's loading. Yep, nope. Got a little bit of room to the right. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and move myself over a little bit too. Cave out there. No, I'm not going to be able to get into the Securitron axe. Oops. Hey, welcome back. Yay, it's our hero. Great work out there. You were fantastic. Yeah, sorry we missed it, man. We had a game going on tonight. It, oh, yeah, it's... I'm sure it was great. <laughs> Sean? What? I, I thought we were going to try to fake it. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Have you seen my engineering guide laying around? I kind of need it for my test next Tuesday. You're going to talk about the game? <laughs> no. I don't care. Vault Ball is stupid. I really couldn't care less, honestly. Take care. Will do. Say, next time, why don't you join us? Could be a fun distraction from all the other bullshit going on. <sighs> yeah, man. Sorry about that. We were just sitting down to set up our game, and... Dude, really? We've been work working towards this for weeks. Where were you? Ow, ow, ow! Damn, bro! Chill out! God, I meant to. It's just... This is all the time Jason and Mandy had to play our tabletop this week. <laughs> With all the shit going on in the vault, we'd be lucky if we get another chance to play this decade, let alone this month. We just beat the third dungeon boss, and we're about to... Yelp. Hey, I broke my leg today, tonight. Then I reprogrammed an entire computer network. Oh, shit, really? I'm sorry, are you okay? 
<laughs> not really. Broken leg. I'm high on medics and still limping like a lionfish. <laughs> Look, maybe if you just go rest up, it'll wear off. Coach Bragg is a real coochinator anyway. Like, douchebag doesn't even begin to explain it. I really hate that guy. Why are you messing with him in the first place? I don't know, dude. Just part of the vault planning. All of us have to do it. <laughs> yeah, right. The vault may have saved us from a shitty situation, but I thought democracy is about not treating people differently because of where they came from. Ugh. Anyway, sorry for not being there for you tonight. You should just join us for our next game, okay? We have a character all lined up for you. Sure, what are you playing? Oh. Well, we're playing something called Robots 2500. It's a miniatures role-playing game. It's all about this future where the robots have saved the world 300 years from now. <laughs> Only, not all the robots are good. When they rebuilt the Earth, there Definitely were a bunch of different deep. factions from different corporations competing for resources. I do love a good backstory. Yeah, it's crazy immersive. Like, you set up all kinds of story text on old terminals and notes you find from before the robot uprising. It's really deep. I bet the gameplay is really about getting together and forming a story then. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Listen, we have a game going on tomorrow night. You should just not go visit Bragg and chill here with us instead. <laughs> Bragg is a total dick. I'll be good it'll be a good time to spend time at home. Totally. Plus, with that new job Rossman's got for you, you can probably get access to some killer PC games. For now though, you should just head to bed. That leg looks like it hurts. Have a good night. to business. So, your Night Protector on attacks the rogue sentry with a laser blast, hitting for 13 damage. Isn't that a little low? No, not, not really. It's balanced to make sure that the NPCs have a chance. The players already have a huge advantage in high health and custom stats. <laughs> I'm sorry about missing your big game. We just really wanted to get into this RPG before the next wave of tests in chemistry. But hey, I heard you won. Congratulations. Mandy, I lost. I even broke my leg. Thanks. Oh, really? Um, I don't know much about football. And we've been here all night. We haven't even left. Really. I'll make it up to you somehow. Is there anything I can do right now? Maybe. Where'd you get that guitar? Uh... Oh, Chief Evanson brought it to me today. Apparently, when they found us in the wasteland, they picked up this guitar and brought it back to the vault, and it's just been in storage this whole time. Hmm. Obviously, our parents had a thing about stars. There's one burned into the wood. Would you like to learn how to play? Yeah, sure. Can I wait till tomorrow, though? Okay. That'll be exciting. We'll start this week. Was there anything else you need? Uh, do you have anything to help my leg? Ooh, yes I do. Here. I just so happen to be studying medicine, and this is part of the kit I made in lab this week. <laughs> Don't be scared. Hold still. Oh boy. There. All better. It's okay, Mandy. I forgive you. Oh, yay. That's good. I wouldn't want you to be mad at me. Aw. I'm gonna head to bed. Oh, alright. Have a good night. I'll try to play quietly. Yeah, but in real life, an 800 watt laser blast would burn a hole right through your arm. <laughs> Yeah, but this is an RPG, dude, not a first-person shooter. But still, it's hard to imagine an 800-watt laser not ruining your day. That's like having a little piece of the sun thrown at your fucking face. Even if it misses, the air around the shot will heat up from the incident light. Box of tape. Oh, dude, this is why engineers should never play RPGs. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Also, lawyers. It's difficult to play with lawyers. Home Star Console. From Miss G. You have pages 4 through 25 of the merits of the capitalism due Monday. Please don't be late just because of the big game. We have a civil war to cover next week. From Coach John Bragg. I want everyone to meet early in the gym before the game for a quick pep talk. 1830. This one's going to be a little different. Don't be late. Tier 
3 is offline. Note to Senator Skulls from Vault Tech. Congratulations on the successful launch of Vault 18 and its soon to be completed segments. We're sorry to note that the terrarium and several sections of excavated caverns never met their completion before the world was lit ablaze by atomic flame. But we assure you that the ter Terra Tech droids will have them ready in no time. We hope you and your daughter enjoy this, this your stay with Vault Tech for a better tomorrow. Just get back to the game, dude, please. Hey, Sean, what would it be like if the robots were like us? You mean like androids? Yeah, just instead of all wires. Oh. Dude, they had become more human or something. So that'll actually end the prequel completely. I'm not quite ready to do that yes. yet. Oh wow, it actually has... interesting. Oran? Pale? Well, maybe I can find some Mentats or something. Let's check the bathroom real quick. Nope. Man. If I'd have known I needed a 50 right off the bat. Whoa. It looks like you've had better days. You should have someone check that out. Hey, buddy. You all right? Oh, you must have just come back from the big game. I'm guessing everything went well. Yeah, it was a <laughs> great game. Where were you, dude? Oh, I'm not on the team anymore. Coach Bragg decided I'm some sort of freak and kicked me out last week. But hey, it's all cool. I'm a creative guy. I have all kinds of great stuff to keep me busy. You know, maybe if you quit acting so weird, Bragg wouldn't have been... Oh, these? They're... I'm gonna wander around some more. <laughs> but that does give me some more... It wasn't stealing, so... Huh. Nuka Girl issue number one. Energy weapons? Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, well. That's wasted. Okay. Need some Mentats or some... Sweet rolls. Whoa! Oh, great. And now I'm somehow stuck. Good job. now stuck inside of the uh... alright uh... nope still stuck okay let's there it is okay Fantastic. Try not to hack too much, but, you know, when you're literally stuck in a wall, not much options. Okay. Well, let's see if there's anything else over here that could help out. Your ears still ringing from the game? The overseer wants to see you in his office. It's all over the intercom. Okay. Just because you can run fast or some shit doesn't mean you get to ignore the overseer. 
run fast shit? Is that all you think I do? Well, and of course you're the best at playing grab ass with Bragg's Patriots. Dude, just make your point. Yeah, okay. I guess we're still in the, uh... Still in the tutorial. Oops. Just realized I wasn't on. There we go. Now, the overseer's office was this way. Admin, uh, admin I'm assuming. Operations. Oh, hello. Done with Dr. Rossman's super exciting late night computer experiments? Uh, yeah. Now I'm just seeing what else I can find to do. Oh, that's very helpful. I'm glad you and your family are starting to fit in around here. Well, except for Sean. So, what brings you to the. Nurse told me the overseer wants to see me? Oh, yes. Is the door not open? He may have gone to bed. Let me make sure. Just go check and see if Albert is still there. No clue. Whoops. He should lead me the right way. Oh, overseer's office. Here's office. There he is. Look, kid, I just had a terrifying experience. A, a giant spectral aberration appeared in this very room with the visage of a giant metal cockroach. Tell me that wasn't an enclave soldier I saw. My God, do you know what this could mean? The Enclave are a bunch of psychotic pre-war relics that rose up in Northern California 30 years ago. They're hardcore killers, hell-bent on restoring their idyllic version of America. I... At the expense of everyone else, mind you. Vault 18 has been hiding from the outside world for almost a decade. If the Enclave knows where we are, we could be facing an imminent invasion. I'm gonna go with this guy's a little bit off his rocker. I thought we were the one who took the hit. The vault? Okay, what should we do? How much time do we have? I have no idea. We might have days, weeks, who knows? No one's seen an enclave power armor in years. This is all stuff above your head, but the Wasteland Scouts will know what to do. With the NCR hunting for Dr. Rossman and his team, and the Raider Alliance sitting just a few miles down the road, we'd better get ready. I'll, I'll, I'll call together the scouts and start to form a plan of action tonight. Well, that's scary. I guess I should go home and get ready. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. I'm worried about my son. He'll be staying over at your house tonight. Make sure he stays put. I want to make sure you kids get a good night's rest, even with this fear hanging over us. Don't get anyone involved, not yet. I'll talk to you in the morning. Oh, uh, all right, buddy. Any med kits I can? Takes a key. Okay. Whoop. Just, just see myself out then, I guess. Are you in trouble? Did he pull you off the team? Ah, if you're in detention, I'm gonna have him assign you to clean my bed. Well, you're a little snot. Now oh, we get ammunition. This requires a key. Requires another key. Hello, 
again. What brings you to the administration office? Uh, just exploring out to see the vault before bed. Oh, well, that's weird. Haven't you seen everything a hundred times already? If you're getting stir-crazy, you should report to the infirmary and get checked out. Vault madness is your responsibility. <laughs> no one else's. Was there something? Yep. Not much. Good night. Have a good night. All right. Mentats, or I, I need something to help me. I need to bump my science up to 30. Or something to get my experience up. Done two quests already. Uh, any other quests I could do, be doing right now? Repair the cables. You know what? It says repair cables, so I don't think... It, you know what? Let's see if I can... Let's go back to the cistern. I may have misread that. Oh, clinic. Eh, it wouldn't hurt to head in here real quick. Inaccessible. Inaccessible. Locked. See, they could have stripped me in there. No, just strip me in front of the jocks. They totally won't cause any issues. Fixer, medex, yeah. No. Stim packs. I will raid the snot. Surgical tubing, nope. Any any meds I can get. Obsolete. Yeah, sounds right. No, I haven't been this way yet. Oh. Hey there. You look like you're keeping busy. Keep up the good work. I really hope I don't get a sense of Looks like some of the uh, cinema. Okay. Hydroponics. Inaccessible. Okay. Makes sense. Now we're actually exploring! Seeing the world! I'd have known I needed that many points. Okay, I already said that. Let's move on. Utilities? Yeah, utilities. Okay. Let's see, it says to you. Yes, that is all I can do. Just go ahead and head to bed and call it a day. Common room? Oh, there you go. Okay. quest to go to bed, and that should lead me. There we go. Hey, 
something is just a little bit laggy there. Causing the uh, graphics to glitch out a bit. Okay, I guess we're going to end the prequel. Before you venture deeper to the unfolding... Let's rebuild my character. Or if I found another glitch. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for the <laughs> my blade through. Uh, hopefully, it's auto saved. If not, I will try to get back here, or I might start over again offline, get back to where I am with, uh, and make sure I have 50 science this time. So. As, a, as it is, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, look forward to getting deeper into this mod. As it has a lot of lore so far, and I'm really enjoying that. I'm very happy that it actually has uh, a lore built around the campaign, because it, it, that's helping me to immerse into it, and I'm loving it. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you're on my YouTube, like and follow. Um, if you're on Twitch, I'm going to be streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays now, um, around 8 p.m. Central, and uh, with bonus streams like this whenever I get a chance. Um, I'm always willing to listen to you guys and try to make it better, so any advice is greatly appreciated. So thank you all, and have a wonderful day.